Kia orana and welcome to the podcast that will teach you how to listen, understand and speak the Cook Islands Māori language. I'm Tom Harrison and with me is Junior Charlie. Together, we are your hosts from Cookie Learning. That's K-U-K-I Learning. Now it's just myself for today, so let's get started. Welcome to lesson number nine. In today's lesson, we are learning no ea mai koe. For this, we need to refer to the previous lesson, which was lesson eight. You will know that no ea mai koe has two English meanings. The one we learned in lesson eight was, where were you? In today's lesson, we are learning how to say, where are you from? Now, let me clarify. In Cook Islands Māori, no ea mai koe has two English meanings. The first one, where were you? The second one is, where are you from? That's what we're talking about today. When would you ask someone, where are you from? No ea mai koe. You would most likely only ask for those that you think would understand. So, if you see a local that's speaking and you think, oh, maybe they're from New Zealand or from Australia, you would ask them just to clarify. No ea mai koe. Where are you from? And they would tell you, Australia, New Zealand, or they might say, I'm from here. No ea mai koe, where are you from, is more commonly asked to children or high school students. This is because it's used as an introduction and someone might ask them, where are you from? This is referring to what village are they from or what island are they from. Here's an example. I'm from Aitutaki and I go to Rarotonga, the capital of the Cook Islands, for a holiday. I start speaking to some of the locals and one of them looks at me funny and they might ask, no ea mai koe, where are you from? I would reply, no Aitutaki mai yo, I'm from Aitutaki. So the two phrases there was, no ea mai koe, where are you from? And I replied, no Aitutaki mai yo, I'm from Aitutaki. This is the end of the lesson, very short, very sweet, and hopefully to the point. Make sure you listen to the previous lesson, lesson number eight, which breaks down how to pronounce no ea mai koe. Again, please remember, no ea mai koe has two English meanings. Where were you and where are you from? And the context of what you're trying to say will dictate what the English meaning is. Meitaki maata for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a review and share it because it really does help us keep our language alive. Hakitit.